Hey everybody, welcome to the next part of Tiny Town. I got some new shoes, so I thought I'd show you guys because I'm excited. And in today's episode, we might be unlocking a new character because we've pretty much almost finished off with Ziggy Yarn, our knitter. Definitely a lot harder than painting with Azure and cooking with Beatrice. In the last part, a few of you guys were worried you were missing out on parts of the Let's Play that occurs in the members videos. But I just wanted to clarify that I just do the more repeated tasks in member videos. So like knitting over and over and over again and cross stitching over and over and over again to make money. And also searching for the rainbow treat. No joke, you guys, I spent four hours off camera and that's just too much to put into the main video. Admittedly, I did start a little bit of Ziggy's house in a members video. And when I noticed I stopped, I got a little bit excited. Yeah, hopefully that helps you guys realize that it's just the repeated tasks that are in members videos and not any any of the important, exciting gameplay that I save for the main video. It's really just what I'd be doing off camera anyway between parts of a Let's Play. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'm excited to get into it. So get cozy. I've got a blanket here and let's jump into it. Okay, so it's Friday, 7 p.m. Hello, Mr. Snuggles. Hello, little one. Ooh, one of you guys were saying you should name. Well, we had a lot of great name suggestions, but one of you guys suggested Sugar and Snap because the two green lambs were like two peas in a pod and I thought that was really cute. So let's rename Fennel. Let's name you Sugar and let's name you Cute. And actually we can shear for wool, not simoleons like I did last time. Oh my gosh, look at this lobster thermidor. Beatrice knows to ta how to take care of her man and she's cleaning up as well. Wait, I've forgotten which one I said to shear wool from. Oh well, we'll just shear both. Let's go for a quick uh, dive for deals as well, even though it's gonna put our hygiene down, cause you never know. There is the slightest possibility, like one out of 2000 that we may get a rainbow wool from the dumpster diving. Some of you guys also suggested that the rabbit log thing, sometimes rabbits can bring it. I feel like it will be the exact same as, oh, we have to unlock it. The same likelihood as all of the birds that we've befriended already. I mean, we could go and look. I'm still, I, I still haven't lost the motivation to find it because I'm so stubborn and I'm like, I just want to find this rainbow wool and not cheat it, even though we don't really need it. I'm an Aries for you, okay? I have just got to say, I'm loving this summer outfit. Hey, we're in summer. I thought spring would last longer. And I did make a little bit more money off camera too. I knitted a few things and I've added um, a couple of things to the clubhouse here. Actually, I think I showed you guys that in the last part. Did we get anything rainbow wool? No, probably not. Hello, how are you feeling? You're feeling fine? Well, we can always give you a little bit more food. Oh wow, we found two simoleons, amazing. I feel like we don't really need to put that in the vault unless we're so strict we won't take any money aside from knitting. But two simoleons, you guys, come on, can we really be bothered? Hound's tooth die. Okay, now I feel like I have to put the $2 in the vault. I just, ah! I wish I didn't even mention it, but now I'm, I'm being stubborn again. It's gonna irritate me. <laughs> We've just found recycled materials. I don't know, the dumpster diving we don't get much from, but I suppose we can always add um, some of the stuff maybe to Cypress's lot. He might be able to build some things. That's why I've just been putting some dumpster diving stuff around his house. Cause I feel like he's just meant to be a handyman. So you could go down fabrication or fabricating if you wanted to, depending on what packs you have. Did it go into our inventory? Oh yeah, we've just got a few things here. The hound's tooth die. You know, anything that might be able to help our fellow Sims, I'm happy to help them. Imagine if there was just like, a random rainbow treat in our inventory, I would die. Are these all on Plopsy? Yeah, these are all on Plopsy. Um, yeah, I've just been mostly knitting this yellow llama sweater and I've just been waiting for them to sell on Plopsy and that that's pretty much how I'm making money for Ziggy. And between that, just doing more cross stitching and selling those on the selling table. Like I feel like that's the best, the best way to do it. Sometimes my accent just takes a really weird twist and I say something like best. <laughs> Best. I don't know where that comes from. Oh, what's wrong? Is your finger sore? Dumpster diving did not make him feel good. Okay, Ziggy doesn't like dumpster diving, so we're just not gonna make him do that anymore. But look at the outfit! 
Ziggy might be my favorite character in terms of dress sense. And I'm also really happy that they added body hair, just as a side note. I know it irritates some people, the thickness and the graphic quality of the hair, but I honestly don't mind it. I'm kind of tempted for him to just, oh, cleaning frenzy. Oh, I love a cleaning frenzy. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I love a good stress clean. You know, if I'm feeling stressed, as a lot of you guys know, I live with a lot of anxiety today. And sometimes to get it all out, I just go cleaning frenzy and I just clean the whole house. And James is like, I'm gonna stay out of her way cause she's stress cleaning right now. Oh yeah, this was the little um, gnome that I thought we could put up in his house. Cause I just feel like for a knitting guy, he didn't really have enough knitted stuff, you know? Maybe we should wall mount this or it could be put on like a nice shelf over here. And then I also liked the idea of this knitted cacti. So we've got that there. Um, the chickens are always getting on in years, but I've actually turned off animal aging. So I don't know why I keep getting that notification. Where is it? Pack settings, environment maybe? Oh yeah, I got rid of snow because I don't like it. I got sick of it, but you know what? I'm gonna allow it again. And the season length is now 28 days. So obviously we're gonna lower that in the cooler months just because I prefer the warmer vibe of Tiny Child. But you can do whatever you want in your game. Oh yeah, it's just here in game options, animal aging. If disabled, chickens, cows, foxes, llamas, rabbits, goats, and sheep will no longer grow older. So I just, I guess I disabled it because I took away the tick, right? For some reason that really confuses my brain. Oh, and this is super random, but it might be interesting. And I'm also curious if anyone else is the same, except I feel like no one will be. Does anyone else invert their horizontal camera rotation and their vertical camera rotation? Is that just me? Because I don't know why I do this, I just do. And I always have Sims 3 camera. Sims 3 camera is the best. Anyway, I just thought that'd be interesting. When I used to go to Sim camps, when they used to have them, I feel like after COVID, they're like, yeah, we're not doing this anymore, which is a real shame. But I used to always uh, change the settings to invert the camera. And I was like, it's gonna be so annoying for anyone else who plays on this computer. <laughs> also this bird here, one of you guys had really interesting lore on this bird. It's apparently a bird from The Sims 3 called the Spotted Sixum. Sixum is Maxis spelled backwards, in case anyone didn't know. Oh no, our cat is tearing up our furniture. And anyway, that bird is, um, I think one that you can like catch in The Sims 3. And we're gonna lecture you about scratching because we don't want our beautiful handmade furniture being picked to pieces by Mr. Schnuggles. But yeah, apparently you can like, catch the bird and then have it as a pet in The Sims 3. Yay, Mr. Snuggles has learned not to scratch furniture. Steps for Mr. Snuggles. And I was thinking this bird doesn't really suit our aesthetic. So I feel like it would be great for Opal just because Opal Gem's color will be purple and we haven't played Opal yet. Um, So I'm thinking we like add it to this, to our little humanity spot, maybe down here, you know? And maybe she might like to take it one day. Actually, just out of curiosity, how much is this worth? You can't sell it? Well, surely you can sell it out build mode. Oh, 2,500 simoleons. That is a pretty penny, but it's a shame we're not making money that way. Uh, all of these things we need to replace just from lightning all the time. We also have some fish. Like, I don't know if any neighbors want to put fish on their walls. Personally, I find it kind of disturbing mounting a fish on your wall or any kind of animal, but I'm ca I am come from a family who doesn't fish. You would feel bad for the fish. <laughs> oh, look at the plum bob. I've never noticed that before. Um, and everyone's different, you know? So, um, oh, hello, snap. Hello, snap. Well, let's do a little bit of knitting. One of you guys also asked if there, there was a sink or you said it was missing. It is not, it is there. Although what we do have missing is a kitchen bin. I thought I put in a kitchen bin. Didn't we have like a whole conversation about putting a bin in or did I dream that? My dreams have been so intense at the moment. Like, I don't even know if I'm getting sleep if my dreams are that intense. It probably means you're getting a lot of good quality sleep if you dream a lot. Is that true? I don't know. I did uh, study psychology at school just in like my final couple of years. Oh, that's right. I don't know if other countries do this, but in our final year at school, no, sorry, our, the year before our final year in school, or maybe it, cause it goes, high school for us goes from year seven to 12. And maybe it was in year 10, you could take up like a year 11 or 12 subject. So in year 12, in year 11, you would have a year 12 subject done. 
It was like you could pick up an extra elective to boost your end of year score. So I did that. Where is our cat food? Oh, it's right here, Snuggles. You know where your food bottle is. It was me who didn't know. So yeah, I did like psychology as my extra subject. And I think because I did that, because I got a lower score in maths, they counted the psychology subject towards my score and didn't count the maths. I think that's how it used to work in Australia. So kind of interesting. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We're having breakfast at the same time as Mr. Schnuggles. This is a cool house though. Actually a little tidbit for you guys. I have done what I think might be one of my favorite builds I've ever done because I want to spend a bit, I wanted to spend a bit more time. Are you causing a fire, Ziggy? I wanted to spend a little bit more time on landscaping in my builds and I went all out for this one I've been working on. I worked on it all weekend. I hopefully will have a video out this week, but it's a mid-century bigger home and I hope you guys really like it. So keep an eye on, uh, keep an eye out for that. Be sure to put on some notifications as well. I might do a members video of editing that video. That might be interesting. I think it's gonna be a speed build because I usually prefer to build it in real time, but sometimes when a build requires a lot of a lot of concentration. You just gotta, you, you can't, you can't film and talk at the same time. You gotta film and then do a voiceover. But speed builds make me dizzy these days. So I will make sure it's not too quick for those of us who get motion sickness like myself. I wonder if the birds have a gift for us. Do you possibly, oh, it's Saturday. That means that the fair is on. Allegedly, I don't know why I use that word. Apparently, you're more likely to get a rainbow treat, but I still, I'm still, still not sure about that. Oh, another gold wool. I mean, gold wool is lovely, but that's not really gonna help us. Ooh, satinum, interesting. Oh my gosh, look at their tent. This poor Sim will like have nothing to sleep in when they move in, because their tent will cost them 420 simoleons to fix. Oh my gosh, let's turn this into, wait, is this already wall mounted? No, I think we have to put it in our inventory to make it wall mounted. Yeah, create wall mounted copy. I was gonna say, why can't I wall mount it off the ground? I feel like you should be able to do that, but that's okay. It only takes a second. <gasps> that looks so cute because it's got the yellow sunflowers on it. Oh, I really like that. We should add another one. But first of all, let's knit animal clothing. Um, we've got three green wool, which means it costs us zero dollars to make. How about that? That was great. And then we could do another one that costs zero dollars to make because I think today we can get uh, more wool from Peasnap. Oh, she's serenading us again. Oh, Beatrice. She really wished she was not the cooking sim, but instead the musical sim. A musical sim would be another good option. He's like, thanks for serenading me, but I'm just gonna go over here into the quiet area. I mean, Beatrice, you can come out here. You don't have to serenade from the bathroom. There's also a, uh, for some of you guys who are asking about these selling tables, if you only have base game, I didn't realize, but you can actually get a base game selling table from either Debug, or actually it might be easier just to search it on the gallery. If you search for Sims Sessions, they used to do this thing called Sim Sessions, or maybe they did it once. I'm just going to select rooms where it was like an in-game performance. And they had all of these items which they added to base game, but you have to get into debug to see them for some reason. But you can search it on the gallery and people have uploaded all their Sim Session debug items as a room. So let's take a look at this. And then I'll just show you what you can do. You just, oh, we don't have enough money to place it. That's so sad. Well, you would usually place the room and then you would see the Sim Session items and be able to use them. Oh, here we go. Here's the Sim Sessions market table. There you are. And, and that's it. You can get that one out for free. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, this is, I think there's a few different designs, but that one has a, a goldfish on it. You know what? Cause it's free. We can just use this as our community selling table. So we can, where, where would we want to put this? I guess at the front of the lot somewhere. We could just put it under the tree. Oh, but then it would get all wet. We really need to contribute to this community area. I would actually like to add a second story to it with some bunk beds. I thought that would be really nice. So people or folk who move in would actually have something. Do you want to go on a date? Oh, Beatrice, I would love to, but I'm, I've just, we're so close to the end. 
We've just been knitting a few things and I've really needed just focus. He's wearing his OG set. Oh boy, ball pit enthusiast. Love it, would like to purchase the amazing Technicolor neck warmer on Plopsy. Yay, they do eventually sell for me. Um, it's just, it's a bit of a waiting game. There's a lot of waiting around and that's what, that's what takes a while. So we can definitely go get that. Also, there's too much sunlight. Let me be the hobbit they've always aspired to be. Sorry about that lighting, everybody, if anyone noticed. Oh, Ziggy, it's gonna be sad to say goodbye to you. I mean, you'll still be around the place. Oh yeah, someone else was saying there must be something stuck that's filthy around the house, like under a piece of furniture, because he's got that icon constantly or that moodlet constantly saying he's just grossed out by his surroundings and I don't know what it is. I don't see anything around here. Is it like hiding? Ooh, feathers. We love feathers. I'm gonna put it out there. If you're thinking that plant is floating, it's meant to look like it's sitting on our windowsill. I don't know, is it under the selling table? Is it cause Beatrice is being flagged with that roommate unhygienic characteristic, which is really annoying because Beatrice is not a smelly sim. Beatrice is perfect. Actually, I think that was Azure. That's not Beatrice, no. Oh, Azure. Uh, Danny is offering us a job as a chef at our fixer. Not until we have completed what we're doing, okay? Hmm, the Festival of Snow. <gasps> the Finchwick Fair has started. We must go, we simply must. Oh yeah, I love the monies. Um, well, actually, we could take this selling table for a little bit of a test drive, pop it in our inventory, take it to the fair. Should we just immediately make $300? I'm just gonna do it. Okay, and we'll go to the Finchwick Fair, and maybe, just maybe, we'll get unbelievably lucky and somehow get that rainbow treat, although I highly doubt it. And don't say with that attitude you won't. Trust me, I've tried with a good attitude to get it. It's just, it's luck. I, I don't think the game is bugged. I think I just haven't, I think I've just been unlucky. Okay, we'll shop haggle items. Ooh, buy mystery box. I really wanna buy a mystery box. Let's do it, even though we really don't have the money to. Sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. Okay, so actually we should haggle before getting the box. Oops, I canceled the wrong thing. And don't worry, we will haggle before buying anything. Oh, I got excited when I saw party treat, thinking party might be rainbow for some reason. Brown wool chocolate syrup, fishy protein, flirty, friendly. Come on, healthy treat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> gnomes, I love the gnomes. If we had a whole heap of money, I would totally, totally be buying all the gnomes and trying to collect them all. I think they should add gnomes to collections. Okay, let's just do a little bit of a huggle over here. You drive a hard bargain, I'll give you 25% off anything. Yay! Oh, what, I can't buy the mystery box anymore? Buy discounted items. Is that the mystery box? That must be the mystery box. What do we get if we buy that? $100, what did we get? Ooh, the mystery box. I've never done this before. We got four milk? Imagine if we had got the rainbow treats. Mighty plant milk. Well, I guess we should be grateful we got some nice milk. Oh, rainbow egg, cool. <laughs> I'm so bitter. Anyway, let's place this in the world and we're gonna set up our own little market stall. And we could sell our hoops maybe with a 25% profit, but we're better off putting them on the table, I think, because we can mark it up even more. More, I say. Yes, no, no. 10 to the table. I mean, I guess the fish is on brand for us because it's yellow. <laughs> and we'll, we'll start a little street sale. And there is a lot of this in members, this is what we do. Hey, Azure. Wow, the crowds are really coming. I wonder if it's tuned a little bit. Oh, $600 eaters, $644 eaters. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm so sorry, but I'm out of stock of my knitted goods. But I reckon this table works well. Oh, look at this cow. You're so beautiful. Oh, we better um, uh, pet the cow. I feel like if you hug a cow, the the cow's not gonna appreciate that if you're a stranger. I don't know, I can't say I've spent a lot of time with cows. He's like, you remind me of a penguin. I guess I can kind of see it. Oh, he loves it. See, even he wants a rainbow treat. 
It was very triggering, Mr. I don't know your name, Spotted Cow. Oh well, it was worth a try and at least we sold some of our goods. Some of you guys were also suggesting we do like a, a workout together. A community workout, said Lichard. Which I think that's a nice idea. You're keeping everybody healthy. Oh, what can we work out on though? I mean, we could do like a group class. Also, one of you guys suggested a sunken um, lounge room, which would be really cool, but it's just mm, probably a little bit too small of a space to make the steps work. We could do, because we've got sunken, kitchen area, raised bedroom. I think we've done enough of like the different platforms in the house. But yes, usually a sunken lounge room would be fabulous. And what do we want to put in this area? I was just thinking we do, let me put move objects on. I was just thinking we do like a couple of chairs. As long as Ziggy has his rocking chair, I feel like that's really the main thing he needs. But you know, a nice little coffee table that's probably a bit big um i really like this little table i think this is really handy there might even be a yellow oh it's an orange swatch not a yellow one that's okay not everything needs to be yellow in this house might go a darker kind of style oh the cacti won't even sit on it how upsetting we can put his crochet item there there's also lots of knitting items that would be really nice to use around the house. There's just like random crafty looking things. Like these festive felt flowers. They're just, they're just gorgeous. You know, we could put some of these up here. We could use this yellow knitting chair. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Let me just kind of do something like this. The problem is, or the thing we've got to be careful of is just not getting in the way of the rocking chair. Or, I mean, maybe we can fit a whole couch in here. I didn't actually think of doing it this way, but I don't mind this idea. We could face it the other way, put the rocking chair that. I mean, as long as he can get around this little bit to the bedroom, that would work. It's always very helpful to use the different tagged styles. They're pretty good. Ooh, here we go. Now that's a perfect mid-century modern table with yellow. Why doesn't this cactus sit on anything? We could do a little, if we hold down control and use the nine key here on the windowsill. I really wish these windowsills did work as if they were shelves, that would be really nice. Yeah, I think this might be our lounge room style. Well, we could put that there because then technically a sim can sit there. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go back to our nifty knitting pack and see what other things we could add to make it look more like Ziggy's home. like having this basket maybe in the corner over here. I don't think we're gonna fit these items into our tiny home. This looks like more something for Azure's house. I'm sure we can have a couple of random yarn balls. Oh, the pegboard is kind of cool, but yeah, it's just not enough room. These items are quite big. We could definitely put our knitting stuff on the table this. That's really nice. And then I love this little knitting cart. I think this is really cute. Maybe we even just have that against here in yellow. Is that too much yellow? I know a lot of you guys really love to take the signature color very literally for every single item, but I said this in the last part. I need, I just, the person I am, I just need a little bit of variety. <laughs> I might just make that a neutral. You know what? I'll just, I'll just make it black so it blends in. That's what we're gonna do. And then this is really cute too. I mean, the thing is we could add a little knitting office area, but it is, it would expand the house a lot. And I kind of love the size of the house currently. Oh, I love this stuff. We could just make it a little bit smaller. Oh, I could sit above the gnome like this. That looks quite convincing. It's like as if they're all meant to sit together or even maybe we put this on the bottom part and this on the upper part. That works quite well. Yeah. I think the last thing we need is probably just some sconce lights around the house. These gold ones are really affordable from, uh, I think it was the bathroom clutter pack. But a really nice item to use would be these vintage sconce lights. And these aren't cheap folks, these are $135 a pop. But I think that does look nice. Classic mid-century, probably not. This is probably mid-century. And I just like them. Maybe if they were like that, that looks more mid-century. Let's see what the game says. The game always knows best. Well, sometimes. 
not. <laughs> Sometimes not. This is mid-century, really? Nah, what the heck, so I'll just use this, but I'll size it down, because it's a little, it's a little chunky. A little chunky for my liking. Like that. Well, actually, this should really be at the same level as the other one. All right, I think this house might be finished. At least the interior, I feel like this is complete. We just need to play a test that lounge room, and then for the exterior, actually, was it like, at nighttime, is it lit up and off? I think so. Well, we could do a couple of these as outdoor lights at the front door. Yeah, that that's very nice. And then we've just got to do a little bit of landscaping, which surprisingly does cost a lot. You know, you wouldn't think it, but landscaping in real life as, and in The Sims is not cheap. And we want to have plenty of yellow flowers as well. We've got our little birdhouse here. Yep. We'll just give this to the neighbor. <laughs> These red flowers are in the neighbor's area because they're a red fam. Oh, we don't have any fencing like Aja does and Beatrice. Do you think we need fencing? I mean, we have this fence. I feel like that's okay. They don't all have to be exactly the same. I think we need to tidy this up a little bit. I'm gonna push it over to the softer brush just because I feel like it blends in a lot more nicely. And then you can also blend it back a little bit more nicely. I fill up this gap here. Yes, just gorgeous. Get more of these iris flowers. I like to size them up so the color really pops. Oh, and I did love the idea of all of these sunflowers. You should definitely have lots of Ziggy sunflowers, absolutely. You could also kind of use a hedge to act a little bit like a like a fence. Oh, we could put these over the vegetables because like, are we ever gonna pick them? Because we can't really sell them for money. Get rid of the other two. $45, this is a great way to make a fence on a budget. Other fences are like $45 a piece. We can just place a few of these. That's a great hack, you guys. Oh my gosh, there are so many feathers everywhere. Is that just because we have a cat? Oh, the poo bushes, memories. I just think this looks kind of cool using the palettes and having the vegetables kind of grow out of them. It's being used as a recycled garden bed. Kind of the same vibe as what we did for Beatrice. It's such a shame we don't have a mid-century fireplace because I really want to put this thingy in, but the fireplace will just look weird. I mean, look, we could, if we really wanted to, we could grab this eco lifestyle one for 1,000 simoleons, and then we could do, I'm just showing you guys an example, do a wall like that and have it kind of on the angle here. But even that I think is too close to the front door. I don't know, I think we take it away. My other idea was to lift this all off the ground with foundation and have a little deck because that always does make the houses look a little bit more legit whenever you add a little foundation because realistically you usually have stumps or concrete to place a house on ah what happened to all my roofing why did that get rid of my whole roof just lifting it off the ground oh because it says it intersects the roof how oh, weird well let's just move that for a second oh and this also gives us a great opportunity to build ceilings which clearly we're missing i forgot about that do you have a ceiling you have a ceiling okay do you have a ceiling well you have like two roofs under there hiding okay well this we're getting real into the technicalities right now Let's get our roof over here. Roof must be built on an even base. Oh, I guess it's unhappy because we have part of the rest of the house risen. Okay, that's okay. Can we just add a little bit extra over here? Oh, I see. I see. I think it's because this pillar hasn't been lifted up. Yeah, and then if we pull that across, now it's happy. Now we know what we're doing. So really, to finish off the house, we need to add some floor tile to the roof. That cost a pretty penny. It's gonna look beautiful when we go into tab camera mode. Look at that. Is that not a mid-century dream right here? Okay, and then I, I wanna add some more yellow themed bushes around the place, really with the rest of the money that we have. But we still haven't made a phenomenal contribution to our community. And I really want to work towards that because then that'll make it easier for the other uh, townies that we move into the place. Love to have some edging put in too, but oh my gosh, it is so expensive. $330? This is like what it costs in real life, probably. <gasps> I thought we were like all done. Oh my gosh, but we're still not done. Guys, we really need to sell <laughs> these items on Plopsy. 
Wait, where's my sheep at? Chica! I need to get some wool from you, please. Wait, where'd Snap go? Wait, it's saying Snap isn't even in my... I think Snap doesn't even exist in my relationships. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh no, Mr. Snuggles has been bitten by a squirrel. Where's your, sugar? where's your, what happened? Did we get a notification that I completely missed? That's so weird. Well, we better clean the, clean the chickens. Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh, we just got 72 eggs. These are some happy chickens. Scatter some food. And what is it? What did we just pick up? Electronic upgrade part. Mm. Actually, we do have a few upgrade, animal upgrade parts. Oh my God, we're not gonna be able to pay the ranch hand. Whoops. Oopsie doopsies. I see Ziggy's opting to use the golden throne. I mean, honestly, I would too. I am used to tough work as a ranch hand, but I have standards too, so I'm heading to greener pastures. What do you mean? What was wrong? Oh my gosh, they just took all of our money and left. Okay, we literally have zero simoleons. That's a problem. I might have gone a little bit too far with the landscaping. I really thought we were finished, and then I realized that I needed to do so much more. Well, not so much more, but oh no. We need one more green wool. Well, I don't know what happened to Snap. Snap just... Was it called the Snap in Stranger Things? It was, called, was it called the Snap in Marvel when everyone disappeared? Like a year. That's what happened to Snap. They snapped. Okay, maybe if we go to sleep. Oh, I mean we have a woohoo with Beatrice. Perhaps we perhaps we should. Let's do it. Let's woohoo. I'd love to have a baby, but we don't really have um room in the family or focus to do that yet. That's why I wanted the Sims 4444 rent to work. Oh my god, Snuggles, why do you keep getting bitten by s oh Snuggles is sick. We're gonna have to go to the vet. I guess because Snuggles is a prowler and mischievous, perhaps that's why he's constantly getting bitten by squirrels. Do you really have to sleep in the tent, Ziggy? He never wants to forget the grind he went through. Really, I just, at this point, want to put a light here on the side of the house, and I also want to have maybe a lounger out here, just something out here. Oh, sugar's ready for shearing. Well, that's good. Now we can actually shear and get some moolah. Guess we can socialize too, make each other happy. Oh no, we can't afford to bottle feed. Okay, what we could do is we could go over to our clubs from the Sims 4 get together. Oh, I forgot we were part of the Paragons. And we can create a club that can look after the animals and maybe someone else can feed our animals. Let's create a club called the Tiny Towners. Woo! Okay, we don't need the exclamation marks. What would suit Tiny Town? Rainbow triggering, even though it's nice. Um, the butterfly is kind of a tiny, let's do the butterfly. Or is that the paragons? Dang it, that's the paragons icon. Oh, coffee. Uh, I should have had another coffee today. It's too late now. What about just this? This botanical gorgeousness. Okay, well, Beatrice is obviously in the club and Azure, where's Azure gone? Okay, well, apparently Azure doesn't want to be a part of our club, whatever. Let's get the, I think you're the mayor. You're the old ranch hand. I'm gonna invite you, even though you quit. You're coming back, Sarah. Raiden, I think is the grocery guy, or maybe owns the grocery store. I don't know, these are all folks that I've been doing Hemford on Bagley chores for, so you guys can all join my club. There's currently no requirements, because apparently, like the ranch said, we have no standards. Bringing Sarah back is actually really good revenge. And we are going to just look after animals. I think that's a thing. <gasps> We could all knit to raise money. Oh, it's right there, care for animals. I don't know how I didn't see that. Well, actually we can probably add a couple of things like care for animals can be one action. Fix objects would be another great thing. Clean, great. We are the worst. Getting all of our friends to just do all the job. No, we're not the worst. We're a community. This is like community activities. You know, cause we don't have any money. Maybe, I don't know, you guys could grill up some stuff. That would be nice, just saying. Confirm. All right, everybody, come, come join us for the Tiny Towners Club Gathering. Hee hee hee. Let's also see if we get a gift from the birds. Oh, it's prank day. We can also do some pranks with our friends. Oh, I totally missed the woohoo as well. We were not watching. I mean, we don't really want to watch the woohoo. That snap? No, that's sugar again. Please, can someone feed sugar? Because I can't afford to right now. Oh, hello, fellow club member. Let's see what the birds have given us. Are you going to feed the sheep? No. 
one bird of paradise. Well, birds of paradise are very lucrative, so that might be a nice little number to leave for Frank's stem, actually. Oh my God, you can put a bird of paradise in the mini fridge? Seriously? No. <laughs> We'll just put it down here on the box. And the reason why I haven't taken Mr. Snuggles to the vet yet is because we don't currently have any money to take him to the vet with. But I'm just gonna praise him and be like, you're gonna get better soon, sweetie. Come on, feed you. Oh, $864. Why did we get $864? Um, I don't think that, I don't know what that's from. Oh, it's from rent. Okay, well, we have to put that in the kitty. 864 some millions in we go how much money do we have here we only have two thousand dollars in that vault i feel like there was more and i'm confused where that's gone or maybe i just thought there was more why aren't you guys doing anything <gasps> are you gonna feed them are you gonna feed them sarah please because you left us they haven't had anything to eat well actually to be fair they're full so they're fine ah oh, yes we have enough wool to make another cottage core outfit which we can sell and then we can get like 400 dollars or 300 and whatever dollars it was that's lovely hey thank you so much for coming and you know cleaning and being a part of our community oh ziggy needs to shave as well well someone's doing heaps because we keep getting a whole heap of points oh you're doing a good job cleaning up yay knitting project complete we can we can sell for 241 simoleons yay we have money again i mean a little bit of money at least it means that we can do a little bit more cross stitching and whatnot well actually to just knit the animal clothing is 40 bucks so i feel like and to make one of these is pretty expensive so they're kind of both good also i don't think we have woohoo beatrice because we don't have a woohoo milestone here ziki has learned beatrice's woohoo interests would you oh no we're gonna go for a stinky woohoo oh in the, in the shower are we is this a woohoo shower oh he's just cleaning the shower wait does beatrice not like woohoo which is fine that's totally fine if she's not into it but just if you would like to i'm happy to oh it looks like she likes the idea this is actually pretty tactful because he's like let's go woohoo in the shower and she also so happens to need a shower so you know it's like two birds with one stone this guy out he can't see in can he no he would he'd have no idea I'm gonna clean that up for you you look like you're interacting with that but not really so i'm gonna leave that there oh this is romantic i feel like i shouldn't be excited about this because it's a woohoo but i am excited for them it's nice look at those fireworks oh god oh no he's walked in on them no oh as if you didn't hear them with those fireworks going off in there oh no I mean, to be fair, they did decide to do that in the clubhouse. I mean, it was my fault. Oh my gosh, the bees. Wait, are the bees protective of Beatrice? Yeah, look, we're hungry too. I was kind of hoping someone else might grill something up and we could get some free food, but I guess that's not happening. Because I want to save this money for our vet treatment. I think the vet treatment is $150 usually. So we'll just quickly have something to eat. And then we really need to get Mr. Snuggles to the vet. Really very important. I've been thinking about this a lot. I wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Girl, we basically do live together at this point. I'm sorry. I love you, Beatrice, but... Now it's just not the right time. We can share tiny homes soon. Oh God, we are not giving that to Beatrice. We are not giving, don't take it. Yeah, she's like, I'm not eating that. What even is this? Camp, oh, it's a poor quality campus stew. Oh, Ziggy, this is what happens when Beatrice always cooks for us. We have no idea how to cook. What even is our cooking skill at? Cooking level seven and we made a bad stew. Oh, I guess it happens. This is making me nervous, this crow, Bar, whatever it is being there because I feel like it reminds me of the game Clue or Cluedo. We call it Cluedo in Australia and I feel like it's gonna turn into a tiny town murder mystery which admittedly would be actually really fun. That's a that's a good idea for another series. I actually did do a Clue series once upon a time. It's good times. At uh, Mr. Schnuggles. I'm sorry I really have to stop saying Mr. Schnuggles. I don't know why I say it like that but we we do need to go to the vet clinic. Oh and you're hungry for Chimkin? Oh I forgot the club hangout is still going. We can end this gathering. Oh we got 396 points. Heck yeah. Well, I guess we get another club member for sure and then we can get a secret handshake or we can just save up. Let's save up for another club person. And our club outfit style can be, you know what? I don't, do we even want, 
I don't think we need one. Actually, everyone can wear yellow because it's Ziggy's club right now. Oh, I know you're hungry, but we'll just go to the vet. Off to Brindleton Bay. I love Brindleton Bay. I think it's my favorite world, although I do really love Henford on Bagley too. And I, I love, you know, city living Sam Aishino because it's a classic too. All right, let's get you fixed up. Okay, let's sign you in. Oh, hello, Kimber. That's such a cute dog, other than the fact that it looked kind of aggressive just then. Oh no, you're gonna poo inside. Sometimes you can, oh my gosh, imagine if there was a rainbow treat in there. <laughs> Sometimes you can just get the um the health treat, right? The wellness treat. I mean, if we can, we should buy one of those, but we'll just have to see how much this consult. Or can you buy the treat and not go through this consult? Because would that not be cheaper, $50? Any minute now would be good, you guys. Do you want to see Mr. Snuggles? How long do I have to wait for this vet for? It's like hours. This is realistic emergency vet care situation. It definitely takes longer to be seen by a vet in cats and dogs. It used to be like instant. Oh, poor Mr. Snuggles. All right, so what's wrong with them? Is it because of the squirrels? Basic treatment, 150 simoleons, damn. Okay, well, we don't have enough for that health treat, but I swear that might just cure them if you have one of those instead. Oh, the cone of shame. Oh, wait, Mr. Snuggles can't eat because of the cone. Oh, well, we do have a good first woohoo memory here. Ziggy's first woohoo partner was Beatrice Jam. Oh, slay. Ah, so just be friends. Good lord, no. Sorry, Beatrice, I've just got to shear my mini sheep before you come in. Can you imagine? Isn't it crazy that people go to get miniature pigs? Why did that love Everybody. just go down? And then they end up with like giant pigs. Poor things. That's actually really sad because then people often have to give the pigs away. And that's really sad for the pig. Why is their romance going down? Their romance just went down a little bit. Four, five, three, three. Oh, we got an obsidian egg. Four, five, three, three, worth the bills. Wait, four, five, three, three? Oh boy, we have a big problem. We don't have 4,533 simoleons. Okay, I'm gonna have to sell at least one of the items we have on Plopsy to make another one. All right, I'm popping that other llama core outfit that we just knitted up, up on Plopsy. Hopefully they will sell. And then I guess we're just gonna have to do a little bit more of these. And I'll resume when I've made a bit more money again. You guys, our club is doing so well. We are so close to getting another club member. I cannot wait. And everyone's wearing Ziggy yellow, which is really cute. I have no idea what Ziggy's wearing, but whatever, it's his working clothes. Whatever works. Okay, our club points have gotten to 638, so we can get another person. Yay, so there's a couple of spots here. One for Aja, yay! And one for Sarah Scott, so that's awesome. Might end the gathering now. And I'm up to about 2,000 simoleons. So I'll just keep earning a little bit more money. The other thing I've learned, it's kind of a little bit of a hack, but you don't have to finish these in order for them to sell for like $500. So you can probably make more money a lot more quickly by just doing a little bit on each one and selling them. I mean, 492 simoleons for something we spent like two seconds on, it's not bad. <laughs> I think we should also get a lottery ticket. Even though it's 100 simoleons, it could be worth it. Oh my gosh, because we're overdue on our rent. Now we have no power. So well, let's do another little yard sale. I mean, this one literally has nothing on it and we'll see if it sells. Okay, it eventually sold, I think for like $500. So not bad. And our lights are all back on because there was an option to pay $500 worth of the bills. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that for a little bit longer. I think what I might do is jump into Azure gameplay. So we're pretty much able to pay off those bills um, if I just continue to do a little bit more Ziggy gameplay. I think for now to finish off this episode and to be ready for the next sim in the next part, I just wanted to put that chair out here. I also wanted to get an outdoor light over on this side of the house because I just felt like that would make sense. And I also thought it would be really cute if we had a little yellow barbecue here for Ziggy as well because I just feel like he needs that, right? Oh my gosh, and we could even have this striped yellow umbrella. That's so cute with a couple of chairs out the back here on the patio for him to eat at as well. Cute. 
Just add a touch more landscaping too, maybe a couple of rocks out here. And of course, like I always say, you need to terrain paint under bushes to make it all look that little bit more realistic. Otherwise, I find it looks a little bit too flat for my liking. There we go, that's a lot better. And then we've got this front deck area to complete as well. So to do a deck, I'm just gonna use this flat L shape and I'm gonna place that, drag this across. We can even put the selling table up on a little decked out area too. We'll go around and place it just on a white slab. Oh, actually wood would probably be a little nicer. Oh, this is like a yellow wood. Perfect. Because it's only one foundation step high, um, you don't actually need to have stairs unless you want to have them. So we have our little outdoor deck here. We have our front deck here. We add one more yellow tree at the front and I think that's Ziggy's house all finished. And then over here, could we begin to make a second level? I don't know if Ziggy will be able to fund the whole thing, but even if we can just fund part of the build, that would be awesome. We will do a double pitch roof. Is that gonna look weird? Okay, that looks a little strange. I guess cause Ziggy's adding it, we could go a little mid-century vibe of having this angled roof like that. I'm gonna pull in the edges though. What do you reckon? Do you think that works? I think it works all right. Ideally up here, we'll put a balcony at some point. And I guess our easiest option would be to place a ladder to get up to the bedroom. And ladders are really cheap. They're only $12, so we're winning. Let's place a ladder there. Oh wow, that really goes to bang in the middle of the room. <laughs> Perhaps let's just move this door to the side and place the ladder there. I'm sure we can afford some form of bunk bed. Oh, we can get this one with this bed underneath. Oh no, that's too expensive. Okay, we'll just have to get one bed for now. And I know it's odd how this is in the middle of the room, but we're going to... <laughs> Hopefully, um, oh, actually, maybe we could move this back a bit, but then that looks kind of strange with this bit, doesn't it? Oh, uh, maybe it's okay. Maybe if we extend this across, I don't know, move our little park bench to be undercover here. That makes it look a bit more balanced. Then that means at least this isn't in the middle of the room. I like the idea of this room being a green room because it reminds me of school camp and this feels like, you know, you're at camp. Pop a crate here, a little lamp. I mean, this is way better than what it's been like in the past. Get a nice stool <laughs> to put in the corner and we can have a, a couple of curtains as well. And then we can have some green curtains just like that. Yay, so we've made a little bit of a contribution. Oh, and I might just size up this rug and do a sneaky rug in here just to make it that little bit nicer and cozier. All right, so I think we are formally finished with Ziggy. Let's just do a tour of his home. All right, so this is Ziggy's mid-century home with the signature color yellow. Very lovely. He made friends with the birds. He tried to grow a lot of giant vegetables to help create treats for animals to inspire what wool color we would get. As a selling table here. And then when you go inside his home, you can definitely see that his signature color is yellow. He's got a lovely lounge room with all of his knitting things. It's a studio apartment style. He's got a little dining area, a galley kitchen with one of Azure's works on the wall. If you step up, this is his awesome bedroom where he collects bird feathers like his girlfriend Beatrice. Hey, what happened to my knitted cactus? Well, he did have a knitted cactus there. His original box to remind him of where he came from. We have this cool like step down balustrade that wraps around the kitchen too, which I really like. Just through this door is our bathroom. A nice yellow bathroom. It's simple, but it's nice. It has some mid-century charm. And then he's got the kitty litter there, which is really cool because it's like an automatic kitty litter with laser eyes that get rid of the poo-poos. Then we have this really gorgeous little outdoor area where he can have a barbecue or lay on his lounge, feed his one lamb because the other one I think ran away. So yeah, let me know what you think of his house. And then of course his biggest contribution is probably the second story to this community house to help others moving in. And in the next part, we will have our next Sim move in. So we will choose them with the Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry, I thought we would pick them in this part, but we had to do a few extra things. I'll be sure to play off camera to pay for those bills that we have. So they're all paid for the next part. So we're not gonna run out of electricity and it's not gonna be left on the one poor Sim who just moved in. Anyway guys, thank you so 
much for watching. Thank you so much to my amazing members for your support. I hope you're enjoying the bonus videos. As always, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Duck, duck!